11 year old boy is facing serious charges tonight, accused of attempting to carjack a Dayton man at gunpoint. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Katie Usen. And I'm Pam Elliott. Now, the incident happened Tuesday on the city's east side as the victim was taking out his trash. Megan O'Rourke caught up with the victim today and tells us what he had to say about his young attacker in tonight's top story. Dan Barlow has lived in his Carlisle Avenue home for the last 12 years, and he tells me he's never had any problems. But that luck came to an end yesterday when he was taking out the trash and was approached in his alley by an 11-year-old and two 14-year-old accomplices. Started saying, hey, you know, you have some change. No, I don't have anything on me. Sorry. And then they asked for the time. And after I told him what time I thought it was and put some trash in the can, I turned back around and he pulled out a gun and demanded my wallet. And once I told him, no, you can't have my wallet because there's nothing in it. I'm just being honest with you. And then he wanted my car keys and I didn't give them up either. So. Now Barlow says the young suspect started shouting profanity, but he still didn't cave. Instead, Barlow simply told the 11 year old gunman that he needed to find Jesus. Apparently frustrated, the three suspects walked away while Barlow followed closely behind hiding pied garbage cans and calling 911. Within a few minutes, Dayton police caught up to the juveniles and placed them all under arrest. Since then, we have learned the 11 year old gunman has a lengthy criminal record, including theft and burglary. And that's why Barlow is sticking to his original advice. I said, I, I told him stop robbing the poor, you know, stop hardworking people around here and uh, go find Jesus. You know, there's, <laughs> if, if the Lord can save me, the Lord can save anyone, really, and no matter what, they, what their past is. Mm -hmm. I know he has a history and, and a past, but, um, you know, the Lord can do work in his heart. And uh, <laughs> just pray that it happens. But it's still disturbing. I mean, the kids, the younger kids are now getting into drugs and and criminal activities much more so than I saw in the past. And that's why tonight all three suspects remain at the Juvenile Justice Center. They are all charged with aggravated robbery and attempted grand theft auto. In addition, the 11-year-old also faces a weapons charge. Reporting live, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News.